I use Notion a lot to store all of my information. That's got AI built into it. So you've got AI summaries. So I've got, for example, all the podcast episodes that I've been a guest on and all my podcast episodes, and it has summaries and you can find information using Notion. I've mentioned Descript. I think they call the AI tool the Underlord, which is very strange. It's quite freaky, but basically if your guest is not looking at the camera, they're looking at the screen, you have that kind of disconnect. So what it can do is it can fix that and it can make the eyes look at the camera or make it look like they're looking at the camera, which most of the time works really well. Sometimes it doesn't, and it's a little bit weird. So you've got tools like that. I use a tool called Libra Chat, which is not for the faint hearted because you have to install it on a server. But the thing I like about it is that it allows you to access all the different LLMs. So I can start with ChatGPT 4.0 and then pass it on to Claude and say, can you do better? And then say, actually, let's go to Gemini now. And so you can go around all of them. So these tools are only going to get better, but they're not what we call AGI. They're not going to completely replace humans with being able to learn from mistakes and have this inbuilt creativity. They're kind of narrow LLMs, narrow AI. They will only improve, but they are being trained on our data. And so there's a limit to how creative they can be. They can think out of the box or they can think out of your box. So they can come up with ideas that you might not have thought of, but the human brain is still much better at coming up with out of the box ideas. I've been teaching live video for years and years, mainly since 2016 when Facebook live came out and it reached its peak, I think in about 2020, 2021. And then it's had quite a dip in usage. You get these people saying it's the end of live video and all that kind of stuff. I actually think that with AI, we're going to get a resurgence of live video because you're interacting with the audience and you're interacting with the guest and you're having a conversation. I think we're going to see more of that. People are going to want to go back to a little bit more of that human side of things.